Hello everyone, welcome to the next session of drawing um, in design and architecture. And uh, today we're going to stay with the same object as the last video, but we're going to try to see it, imagine it in space, with two vanishing point, but somewhere in space on the top and looking on the object from, let's say, bird view or something like this. So let's just share the screen with you. First of all, I'm going to show you the object. That's how it looks. Yeah, you see? This object, we're going to try to imagine this. You see this two vanishing point uh, view uh, from down up, yes? And from the top, what we're going to do, we're going to see this object approximately like that, yeah? Like this, okay? Okay, from the two vanishing point perspective. So we're going to kind of operate with this form. It's very difficult form to operate with. So we're going to try to kind of imagine this based on the picture you have as a reference from the last way, last the video we were we were kind of drawing this. You remember probably the you know the proportions less or more. So let's just share the screen. Yeah. Here we are, and we can go with kind of you know um, converging lines. Yeah. By the way, so here is what we did last time. Yeah. We did the profile of this object, and we kind of draw it approximately less or more as is in the picture uh, because it's very difficult. So we didn't imagine right away, but now we already know how it looks. So we can kind of, you know, draw this in different uh, perspectives. So now, if I would like to imagine this object in three vanishing point, um, you know, um, let's say if we start drawing this from the lower part, yes, from the lower part. So what are we gonna do? First, of course, you see, we will do the, okay, I just put the layer. I'm gonna put, we're gonna imagine this as in prism, at least this part as a prism. After we're gonna add the handle, that's not very difficult, but first the main corpus, this one. So for example, if you would imagine anything in three vanishing points, so what are you gonna do first? First, you do the prism in this perspective, yeah? So uh, if I draw in two vanishing point perspective, I might have what? Three kind of leading lines towards the third vanishing point, which is somewhere on the top. And I have, after I'm gonna have what? I'm gonna have also, let's say the perspective arm um, to the two vanishing point perspective, yeah? So I want to imagine now this object flying in the space. So I'm gonna have the horizontal line completely down and I'm gonna have, you know, the conversions to the left going rather that way and to the other side, it's gonna go rather something around those lines. Yeah, oops, sorry, uh, this way, like this and like that, yeah? Okay, so look now, if you would like to draw this form, we know that it is what from the, the top view of this object is full circle, yeah? From the top, the object looks like this. You have the, the back bit here, and you have here the handle over there, yeah, is the handle, is like less than half, so somewhere there is the end, yeah, somewhere there is the end, you have the hole there, yeah, and you have the hole also there as well, okay, and this is from the, the top view of the object, yes, so it's full circle, so what it means that we actually have here prism with square base uh, on the base and on the, on the top, so let's just do first kind of square, okay? In, in kind of prism with the square kind of base. So let's say that's gonna be, I am looking for the perspective, uh, actually gonna be better, a little bit larger here, yeah. So look, let's say I'm going to have the base approximately where, well, I can kind of assume that the base is gonna be here and let's say somewhere there, yeah, I'm gonna have this kind of, squarey kind of looking base, yes? Square gonna be somewhere there, yeah? So I don't have the convergence to the, to the lower part. So now, now the convergences go one here and one there because I am imagining being under this object, yes? It's not on the ground. From, I, I don't see it kind of from the ground in the dimension point perspective because from the ground, it would be something around those lines, yeah? And like this, but I'm gonna, look at this rather where when I am kind of under this object, yeah? The object is really in space, flying, okay? So let's do that. So we go. 
we know that approximately as large is it, it, it is the same, the height approximately. So if I would follow now in the perspective, if I would follow the third vanishing point, the prism form, yeah? So it's gonna be something around this line, yeah? Over here and something of course align this line over here. You see the convergences to the third vanishing point, I have kind of balance, yeah? So not very drastic. And this is the base of my object. So I have convergence, convergence to the right, and I have convergence, convergences to the left. Now, approximately this is my height, yeah? So if I just kind of speculate, I'm gonna have the, the end of it somewhere there, yeah? Converging and somewhere here, converging that way. So if I go kind of transparent, if I'm gonna kind of go through this, this form, so I'm gonna have the other, you see, kind of square surface on the top on the main corpus, something around those, those lines, yeah? So I just adjusted the, the angle so everything is kind of correct. So now, I know that this is the opening ellipse of the top, yeah? Here I have, if I circumscribe this, yeah, I have the kind of horizontally placed ellipse, yeah, but this is the opening of the top. So this is this ellipse, yes? And now I know that I have an angle here, but the other ellipse is not the same because you see, if you do vertical there, so the other ellipse is a little bit smaller. It's like one third of this entire division of this ellipse. If this is the middle, you remember we were dividing this middle. So we have one, two, one, two, and the one, fourth we are using for the angle. Actually, we use actually half of it. So let's do the same. So if I divide in four, this entire form, if I divide here in form, for example, I go, uh, first I go in the middle. So the middle I'm gonna find by connecting the, the kind of corners. I have the middle, from the middle I have middle here and I have middle here, yeah? And I'm gonna divide those middles, yeah, over there, yeah, as well over here, and I'm gonna do also middles over here, yeah, kind of conversion to the left, but down, a little bit better the conversions down, yeah, like this, a little bit better, and like this, yeah, I'm gonna have conversions to this and to this point from here. So now, I know that there's approximately, you know, a, what half over here, yeah, the angle, yeah? So the angle is, how is it the angle, yeah, is, Actually, you see, is one fourth of the half, yeah? One fourth of the half. So the one fourth of the half, the half is here and one fourth is there. So if I do this here, yeah? And I do this here and I do this here, I have this kind of, yeah? This kind of square surface here, yeah? Kind of square surface here in which I'm going to circumscribe the base ellipse now, yeah? Because the base ellipse is gonna be something of this, this kind of kind, yeah? Of this kind of kind. So now I can go and connect these parts and connect this end of the ellipse with this kind of ellipse. You see, I, it's deformated. Why is deformated? Because, of course, I would see it in three vanishing point. So now this is our base. Now let's cut the base because it's cut not in half, you see, but in one is, in, in first you find the middle, the middle is here, yeah? We have the middle. And here also we're gonna have the middle. Middle here, for example, yeah? And middle there, yeah? So somewhere there is the middle. So we see the middles are here, yeah? It's, it's here. And now we need, uh, of course, we need now find, um, you know, the where we cut. So normally, if we're gonna go the, with the cut this way, this way, yeah. So I, I gonna have the corner over here, but this half half. We don't have half. We have approximately one fourth from here, yeah. So the corner actually gonna be somewhere you see here, yeah. And this is gonna go up there. So you have the lower part going this way 
And the cut now with convergences to the third vanishing point down is going to be there. So here you have what? You're going to have the other cut going angularly this way. And you're going to have the base of the object approximately over here, yeah, over there. So you see this, we can take it off right away. So it's not going to kind of bother you, this part, yeah, because this entire object we see, you know, like that. Now, what is happening else? You see, one fourth is from the what? From the thickness, yeah, from the thickness over here. And we have rounded part. And then we go here, it's rounded, rounded, rounded. And the other part goes there and there, yeah? So that's how we're going to see it from below this object, yes? And another, and after you have, of course, you go with the end over there and so on. So we have actually the base form. If I just erase this so we can see much more clearly what is happening here, we have something around these lines, yeah? Over there, yeah? Okay. So um, let's go further, yeah? This is of course going to be in shadow, yeah, because you see the light, let's, 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 let's imagine come from the top. So you're going to have this in shadow. You're going to have the base in shadow, yeah, over there and so on, yes? So we see this part of this object from below, okay, in three dimension point perspective, yes? And let's do now, where's the beak? Well, the beak is in the middle. You see this line over there, yeah? So if you just follow with this line up there, up there, and you have the middle point of this ellipse, the upper ellipse here. So you see the perspective is going, or the beak is going this way. So what you're gonna have it there? Here you have the beak, yeah? It's kind of rounded, yeah? Rounded here, rounded there. Furthermore, and is entering what? The lower part in halfway, in halfway. So somewhere there you have the end of it. Let me just do this better, yeah? Okay, we, we said it's halfway, yeah, halfway approximately. So you're gonna have somewhere there. So we will go with this beak there and we put this form of the beak going less or more like this visible from the lower part. So this, of course, we don't see anymore, yeah? Okay, okay. And we're gonna see only core shadow, yeah? If I want to do core shadow there. So look, it's gonna be something like this from the, low, from the lower part. And if you add a little bit core shadow, you're going to have kind of much more dimensionality of the, of the big scene from the lower part, yes? And also here, if I just kind of clean this stuff a little bit nicer, so we get this form approximately, you see, if I clean everything nicely, so we have something around those lines, yeah, of this object. And also, I'm going to separate a little bit this part, yeah, now I can separate this little bit, yeah, over there, and also do some kind of nice stuff over here, and so on. So we have this kind of object approximately less or more down the free sketch from the low, from the from down to the up yeah part. And now where's the handle? Well, the handle, if we go again with the first ellipse, yeah, which was somewhere there, yeah, somewhere there, yeah. So now and the middle of it was somewhere there, and we have this perspective there. So the handle now, we're gonna follow this way. We have half of the ellipse is this, and the handle length is what less than like approximately three quarter or something of the half. So from this edge over there, yeah, we go with this space, yeah, this entire space. So we go there, and somewhere there is going to be the end of it. So now if you go with this convergences to the left down, yeah, and you go with this entire part, let's say it's one square and what if we go kind of like that, yeah like this, so we're gonna have what? Here is the one third, is another one third, another, we have the square and one third, and we have another half of it, yes? Okay, so we're gonna have here the ellipse, yeah, ellipse, and this actually the handle, so we see only from this part, we're gonna see the top of the handle, and we're gonna have a little bit the top over there, and of course, from the lower part, the thickness is approximately the same as here, yeah? Half of it, approximately. So the half of it is gonna be going somewhere there, but it's not only this, because we're gonna have what? Kind of this large, the handle. And we see only the side over there, a little bit visible over there. And now, in the third vanishing point, we have the middle, middle of the square is here, sorry. The middle of the square is here, okay? 
So now we go with the that vanishing point perspective. So it's kind of going to the third point. And now from this middle of this entire ellipse over here, this middle, we go with this perspective, that direction, convergence to the right down. And we have the middle of this of this square. So here what we have half of this small square down. So if we go kind of around this point as the convergences go, yeah, as the convergences go, and we add what? One oval here, another over there. So we actually going to have, you see, the handle going that way, yeah? And we're gonna see a little bit the corner of this handle over there going up there. And from here, we're gonna have kind of entrance inside. So I'm gonna show you how it looks if I erase this part and if I erase uh, this entire part, just a second. I'm gonna show you here and this entire part, yeah. This entire part, if we erase this and this, yeah. So here we'll see what we see the side of it, yeah, rounded side of it. And after I will see under here, this entire other part of this handle gonna be in shadow actually here, yeah? So everything gonna be in shadow over there, yeah? And we're gonna have something like this. So if I want to draw this kind of briefly in three vanishing point, this object from this, this point of view. So I would just go there, just a second, um, yeah? And we're gonna kind of add another layer, yeah? And this I'm gonna kind of put it light. And here I will try to draw this briefly, only the form briefly kind of. Yeah, and it can be dark. So now you will, I, I, actually I could go and kind of try to, you know, retrace briefly approximately this object in three vanishing points. So it's gonna go like, like this. Yeah, a little bit, oops, a oops, little bit this way, oops, a little bit this way and that way, yeah. And you're gonna have this part going this way, yeah, like this approximately around it, yeah. And it's gonna go down there. Uh, oh, entirely, let's say, let's go with one long, one long line, a little bit better, like this. Okay, a little bit better like this. And we have what? Now we have one, two, three lines. Here is one, for example, yeah, one. And that is one, yeah, over there, one. A little bit better, yeah, a little bit kind of better. Over there is also the elliptic kind of form and that is cut in half but it's rounded so i do what i do kind of one two three oops a little bit thinner lines one two three for example thinner lines and they go kind of around they go around there because over here also i have rounded this this corner so i'm going to do also a few lines and also here we're going to have what roundness is roundness there yeah so you see if you put shade there you leave the light space yeah the folding kind of light space in the fold. So in order to kind of generate approximately, you know, um, the form, you know, nicer, yeah? Here we can kind of push a little bit the dark, yeah, over there and kind of around the, around the, push a little bit here, push a little bit there. And here, of course, what's gonna happen there, you have the kind of, you know, color there, very thin color around, yeah? We're gonna have this kind of thin color going around here, over there, everywhere. And of course, here we have this and we go kind of around it and around it a little bit, yes. And here we have kind of corner, which is kind of rounded. And also here we're gonna have also kind of rounded the corner. So we're gonna do not one line, but we're gonna kind of few approximately, you know, going that direction, few lines going kind of, that's difficult to do. Okay, and the tablet like this, yeah? So we're gonna have approximately some kind of, you know, shadowy part under this uh, part here. And of course the, the beak over there, we can actually go and kind of go it kind of rounder, around, around here and there. This may be too strong the lines. We should have kind of much more thinner lines. And so a little bit something here. And of course you're gonna have probably core shadow there. Yeah, so this part is going to be dark and it's going to be lighter. And all the all the parts over there, you can emphasize certain parts a little bit stronger. You're going to have some kind of probably, you know, shadow projected on the plastic over here. And also here, if the light is coming from there, 
we're going to have some kind of shading there. So we're going to have some kind of foreshadow and after we're going to fade in and also going to be fading here. We might have as well as something around, around this line going over here and there. So, and after the other part, you see just only briefly from the handle, you see only the end of the handle is rounded there. You have this kind of, you know, collar around, the kind of fold around this form, yeah? So from here, it would go a little bit this way, just a second, a little bit kind of that way, and it's gonna go down, you know, to this angle, the handle, yeah, okay? Over there, and you're gonna have what? The other gonna be where you have the end of it over there, yeah? And here, what you're gonna have it? Well, it's a kind of rounded, so you're gonna have kind of rounded here, yeah? And it's gonna kind of disappear there. And on this part, you're gonna have kind of foreshadow, yeah, over there, in order to emphasize the roundness of it. And you're going to have the corner of the handle because the lower part of the, the line of the lower part here is flat, here is flat, yeah? Here is flat, the base over there. And here we have what? We have ellipse here and we have ellipse there. So this part around it, yes? And this is also around it. And then you have the other side of it. So here, the corner, we just connect to this corner over there, down there. Yeah, you're gonna have kind of, you see, one, two, three lines or something, because you have the corner there. This entire form is gonna be what? In shadow, yes? So you're gonna see actually, and of course you're gonna see some kind of sh shading under this handle over there, and the other probably gonna be a little bit in, sh in shadow, but this kind of gonna be a little bit darker because this part is in shadow. So here it's gonna have this entering there, and the flat surface, you can have some kind of shading over there as well, disappearing and so on. Actually, this entire rounded part, rounded, rounded part over there might be a little bit in shadow. We just kind of emphasize a little bit stronger this kind of things to get this much more, you know, dynamic form. And in this kind of perspective, yeah, in this kind of perspective, you know, two vanishing point, that is approximately what you're going to see as the form. So you can go kind of and emphasize a little bit, you know, the 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 the, the exterior shapes. The main shapes, a little bit kind of a little bit much more, you know, stronger dynamic here. And for example, there for this handle, and also here, a little bit kind of darker parts. Whatever is in shadow, you can add a little bit stronger. Also, this parts over there, you can kind of emphasize a little bit the shades here and there, yeah, and also here and there. So, anyway, and here might be a little bit kind of even out going this part. So, we're going to have this, you see, it's, it's deformated a little bit, yeah, this entire shape here of this object is deformated for only one reason, that we actually draw this in three dimension point perspective. And because we have the angles here, that's how strange is going to look. So this three dimension point perspective, this form, yeah? And because of, of its angle, it's kind of looking a little bit strangely, okay? So we kind of, you know, maybe, maybe emphasize a little bit here, a little bit stronger like this, yes? And uh, of course, we can still do, you know, much more stronger sh shades here. So if I take this off, for example, yeah, if you add a little bit kind of much more, you know, realistic kind of you know, uh, corner here, for example, you have after the shadow over there and you have a little bit over there visible and the lower part is much more darker. Yeah. And the same going to happen here. So you just kind of want to kind of make, you know, make it a little bit much more dynamic. So you will go with those kind of, you know, um, uh, shading over there to kind of dynamize this form even more than normally, you know, um, that it looks. So you have to always emphasize a little bit certain parts. Okay, this darker over there. And so we have the under part and so on, yeah? So here we're gonna have this and maybe a little bit spread some kind of other stuff here going and so on. And that's how the form going to look less or more in this kind of perspective. And um, of course, the other way of doing this would be to look at this from the two dimension point from the top. So let's just kind of close this and let's get to another, to another uh, layer. Okay, and now let's try to do, let's try to do from the top view very briefly, yeah? So I have this kind of brush here, let me choose the color. Yeah, let me change the color red. So now, if I want to draw now from the bird view, not the warm view of the three dimension point, but the bird view. 
So it's going to be opposite. And now the anger is going to be much more even, um, um, you know, um, stronger because this form already in two vanishing points has an angled angle, yeah? But now in three vanishing points, it's going to be even much more dynamic. So we can go, for example, if we draw this from the top, so we can kind of go one, two, for example, two lines here, convergence to somewhere in the sky, two vanishing point, the, the kind of a horizontal line is far away. So another going to be approximately, let's, let's do a few lines, which would kind of, you know, uh, resemble those ones on the right, convergences, something like this. So let's say I have the top of it somewhere here because it's square, yeah, because it's full circle, it's kind of square. So I don't have the top of this object approximately here. So right away, I can kind of go and speculate that I'm gonna have this kind of, you know, ellipse, yeah, from the top, from this kind of view, if I fly over this object, I'm gonna have something of this, of this kind happening, yeah? And now the third vanishing point is depend which way we go. But if I don't want to have too much distortion, let's say I would go a little bit this way, yeah? So I kind of go three vanishing point rather, oops, this is too strong. And uh, this is also a little bit adjust. Let me just adjust this a little bit like this and like this, like that, okay? A little bit, yeah, and over there, somewhere there. We're gonna, we're gonna use this kind of three vanishing point alignment. So now, we know that the middle, of course, we have uh, some there, yeah, and the vertical, the middle is there. So now with the third vanishing point, the other middle, we're going to have somewhere lower over there, yeah? But the best would be, as I have the square here, yeah, the square here, let's do another one in the three vanishing point, which I want to have. So for example, if I do the prism, yeah, if I do the prism, okay, like this and like that, yeah, and this is the corner of the prism, like this, and let's say the width is approximately the same, so somewhere there I'm going to have the base of the prism, yeah, or maybe a little bit higher even, yeah, somewhere there, yeah, so I'm going to have, you see, the prism form like this. And look what happens now. You will see that the lower one is much more larger, you see, the square, okay? I have already this prism intervention point. So now, as I circumscribe here, the opening of this object, yeah? This ellipse from the top, yeah? This part over there. So at this time, I go what the other, I'm gonna do it here, yeah? So also I kind of circumscribe this kind of ellipse, normally, if they would be parallel, it would be this. But it's not parallel because it's what is one fourth from each side. One fourth from each side. So look, middle of this square is here. Another middle of the square is here. And we divide one and one more, yes? And one and one more. And how we took it? One fourth the angle one for the angle from the half. From the half, one four is gonna be here and there. So that's my corner over here. And the same corner gonna be there and there. So another corner gonna be somewhere there. So actually I have to circumscribe, uh, just a second, it's over here, the corner, so yeah. So you're gonna, I have to circumscribe in this square, yeah, the lower, lower, ellipse, yes? So now you see, I'm gonna have much more larger, yeah, much more larger, much more open circle on the base of this form, yes? But this, if that would be conic, conic form entirely, but I know it's not conic form entirely because I have to cut it. And uh, I have to cut it where? Well, let's cut it this way. So it's not how, but this like kind of one fourth of the house. So somewhere there, I cut the object. So now going up, it's gonna go this way, yeah? And going here up is gonna go that way. And this is of course the roundness. So here the conic form is actually without change until you got to the corner. Here, however, now let's now divide it because one form is the thickness of this, of this part.
So one four is going to be one, two, three. Somewhere there you have the top part, yeah? And it goes this way, you see, over there. And what you're going to have around it, part here. And from there, it's going to go now as the edits go, yeah? As the conversions go there, yeah? Over there. So you see, look, so you can, if you, if you want to see exactly what is happening, if I erase all the construction lines here, yeah? If I erase the construction lines, you actually getting something around those lines, you see? You get the object approximately less or more this way done, yeah? And it's a little bit rounded here and rounded there. So that's what you get from the top view in three inching point perspective, this kind of object, yes? So you go there, it's approximately this, yeah? A little bit rounded and in corners. When I'm gonna draw, we're gonna do this a little bit, much more nice. And now we have the top view of the opening of this form, yeah? It's gonna go somewhere around this line, this or more, yeah? If you just kind of adjust this. So now look, where is the beak? Well, the beak I have in halfway here, yeah? In the middle. So you see, my beak will go over there, yeah, a little bit, and over there, kind of rounded, yeah? And I'm gonna have it here, and I'm gonna have a little bit there visible. Now, what is gonna be on this way over here? The handle, yes? And I need what? Half, half space, a little bit less than half, something like this. So my entire handle is gonna finish somewhere there, you know, in perspective, yeah, I'm going this way. And it's gonna be what? One square. So if I divide this like one, two, three, and one half, some, something around these lines, you can do this very, very exactly, uh, looking at the squares over there. You know, all this part, you can go again here, you see, this is one square, and in the base is kind of one third. So if this is one, two, three, and this is another kind of half, except that half of this half, yeah? is for this roundnesses here. You remember from the previous video, yeah? So um, so we go here, so we have approximately something like this going on there. Now we're gonna have the connections, kind of slowly rounded connections here and a little bit integrated kind of inside here. And what do we have here? Horizontal ellipse, yeah? Okay, so we're gonna have this handle actually going less or more something around those lines. And you see, we're gonna see very little the back because the conversions, the third vanishing point per day, conversions goes this way. So we only see a little bit the handle visible there. That's it what we see. However, what we see inside, we're gonna have inside, we're gonna see this, yeah? If I eliminate this part here. So what we're gonna see in the inside? First of all, you have this kind of entrance inside and here you have what? You see the hole there, yeah? And here you have the bridge, which kind of follows a little bit. You see the kind of, you know, um, inside part, yeah? Okay, it follows, it follows over here. And you have here this kind of fold, roundnesses here, yeah? And that's what we're gonna have. And also it goes a little bit actually inside. You see from here, you're gonna see a little bit kind of cold up there. Yeah, you're gonna have this kind of view. You're gonna have a little bit space on top visible here. And again, you're gonna have kind of darker parts inside, and again here, darker parts inside. So that's what you're gonna get from the top. Of course, you're gonna have some kind of shadows on the base here, kind of core shadow on the side over there, yeah, on this side over here. And of course, the beak gonna go where? This is actually what's gonna happen here. The beak itself, it's gonna have kind of core shadow there a little bit, yeah? And it's gonna kind of gently go this way and this way. So that's how we're going to see this object actually from the prevention point view, uh, you know, um, down. Of course, if you spend a little bit more, much more time on it, time on it, you're going to do it perfectly. But let's do it kind of brief, just basic line on this. Okay, so you can try to kind of, you know, um, use these proportions you already know and try to draw them in different, in different, um, you know, perspectives. But you have to understand if you draw in two vanishing point perspective, view from the third view or the one view, you have to first draw, you have to first always draw in relative proportions the basic kind of, as you would do kind of prism in three vanishing point perspective. And within the prism after, you will search for, of course, this ellipse and the smaller ellipse, then you cut it whatever you have to cut a little bit more than, uh, more than half. 
and then you of course here you have one fourth one fourth so you're going to have what the the kind of this part over there you're going to have this angle over there this is kind of under visible and you go over there and the other part of course goes over there you have this part here you see and from there you go this way yeah and after you see what on the middle you go there somewhere there you have the handle so that's what you're going to see is the handle you extend a little bit where is it from the middle part over there so this part is here for example yeah over there and the other going to start exactly where is the ellipse so the handle is going to be a little bit behind and you're going to have the handle over there so that's how we have to create this kind of you know difficult forms in perspective yeah that's the way to do this first you do the prism and after within the prism you create the object so um let's just do this briefly here yeah so i'm going to take um uh, another color let's say i take black this time yeah and just kind of briefly let's draw this kind of briefly here okay so i just kind of go i just kind of go here a little bit a little bit kind of this smoothness is important to kind of get it to get it right here yeah this way here is kind of rounded yeah and you go there and it's kind of rounded oops a little bit less kind of here and you have here the, the end of the ellipse yeah somewhere there it gets connected to the beak like this rounded a little bit big so we have also here this ellipse goes this way but here you're going to have the beak over there and let's kind of try to get this ellipse right here on the on the top yeah something like that okay something like this approximately and of course we're going to have here a little bit the bridge kind of around it and here you're going to have this part of course you're going to have a little bit the color around these forms yeah i do just kind of briefly you know to just kind of speed up the process but you can kind of go and make it much more nicer when you have more time and you can practice this and you want to do it nicely it will take kind of time to do this much more correctly yeah over there over here and of course you go over here okay and you do this kind of board a little bit very narrow board here yeah this kind of fold around you know this form over here and over there okay so now we have what is, this is rounded kind of you know because it's kind of oblique yeah the corner so you're going to have kind of rounded part from here you're going to have board a little bit kind of you see going leave the space and here you're going to have a little bit kind of you see a core shadow the same core shadows of course you're going to have over here because of the depth here you're going to have a very darker because it's kind of cold there yeah so it's going to be kind of darker there and of course here this kind of going to go a little bit over here and of course you're going to have also over here this kind of you see this kind of stuff going to go this way and after here you're going to have a little bit darker yeah you have one side after you have some kind of fold because this is also what is happening here you have something like this and like this yeah so you have to leave it kind of you see kind of you know you know extend extend and uh, this kind of kind of fold there visible so if you kind of do the cross hatching there you will leave it a little bit lighter this part entirely because it's going like this this color is going like this after you have a little bit like this and you have that way yeah so this is what i am drawing here yeah from the of course this is a uh, the side view the profile view of this of this entire form so let's go after with the big the big we just kind of speculate a little bit kind of giving it this form here here is a little bit kind of rounded so it's going to be kind of going this way yeah and of course under the big over there you're going to have a little bit cross shadow there to for dimensionality of it and we go with the other side of it over there yeah and you have the base it's rounded and it's rounded there and also from here you're going to have from under this fold you have this part and after you go over there yeah and also a little bit here and you go kind of you see this kind of soft corner because it's rounded so you do a few lines yeah okay and the lower part is there but you can also do go another at thinner line close to this yeah so it's kind of show you the roundness of it and here of course you have the exterior part but you can also add a little bit kind of thin over there to just do this kind of roundness and also here on the lower lower base of it over here if you just kind of put it a little bit stronger this contour oops kind of 
close, yeah? Okay, a little, little bit kind of uh, 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 darker. So you kind of add another thinner line somewhere there, yeah? A little bit better, kind of really almost parallel, a little bit line like this. So at the roundness is gonna be much more visible. Of course, after you add a little bit core shadow here, yeah, and so on. So the round is gonna be much more evident and add a little bit more somewhere there, yeah. So you get even much more, you see the forms, the roundnesses are getting much more nicer. Of course, you can do this all kind of cross hatching, much more nicer and everything, but that's another story. And now we're gonna have what? If the light is coming from the top, so you're gonna have some kind of around it probably you know uh, under some kind of shadow under yeah going this way yeah so you're gonna have something less or more like this might be not exactly the same but something around those lines so you see that's what we are uh, 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 we forgot this part so here we have this is the end of it yeah and we have only we see a little bit there and this is of course going to be probably all in shadow yeah because it's kind of you know a, a hidden from the light so that's how this form gonna look. Kind of imagine you, know, this, you imagine this form. It's gonna go look like this from the top. So you just kind of, if I just close this, yeah, and uh, and I close this, so I have approximately something of this, of this kind here. How was the other one? It was like this, yeah. So you see, we have one and the other. This is much more nicer than drawing and uh, this kind of triangular kind of, you know, and uh, strong uh, kind of angles forms from the three-dimensional point. You're gonna have this the deformations much more unpleasant than the other ones, yeah? Of course, all depend how you're gonna, you know, um, uh, put this in perspective, what you're gonna put from which side, because in this case, for example, the, um, if I get with the red, yeah? So you see this, handle is going exactly to the middle of this, yeah? And now the exact middle of this oval is the lower oval, yeah? If we go kind of nicer here to drawing, it is where is here, the middle, yeah? So you see this is a bit extended because it's more than half the cut, yeah? And because you have the third dimension point to the top, it's kind of gonna a little bit kill the, the, the beauty of it, yes? So um, that this kind of forms a very fun. You can try <clears throat> do the same with any kind of other form, cups or something. The same gonna happen with the cups. If you have cups, for example, uh, let me see. If we have, a, if you have a cups, a kind of coffee cups, you know, which are kind of, you know, conic forms, yeah. So if you have kind of, Normally, if you know in normal two dimension point perspective, you draw this kind of coffee cup. So you're gonna have something around around those lines. Yeah, let's 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 or more. I'm not looking at from proportions, but something like this. The same cup, the same cup. If you want to draw in two dimension point perspective, but from the warm view, what's gonna happen with this cup? Well, you're gonna have approximately this. Yeah, and if you go kind of, you know even vertically in two-dimension point perspective. So what's gonna happen? This angle is not gonna be any more like half of it, but because look, if I go in two-dimension point perspective with the prism, yeah? So I'm gonna have the oval here much more larger, yeah? And eventually this is what? One, two, three, half. So the other oval is gonna be something like this over there, much more rounder, yeah? Okay, actually this is gonna be much more rounder on the top because now I see much more the top. So it's gonna be this change. Here's gonna be a little bit less. And if I connect this cup, you see, it's not as beautiful, is it? isn't it? Because this is the lower part of the cup and this is the exterior part of the cup. So you see, the this kind of triangular form in three dimension point perspective, say don't look very nice, yeah? This is much more nicer. However, if we draw them looking from the top, from the bird view, so we're gonna have the same cup, much more nicely, nicer, nicely look. Yeah, it's gonna go something around these lines. And let's say you choose this kind of alignment and uh, conversion to the to the um, you know the third dimension point. So you're gonna have normally, if you would do go normally, if I go kind of with the cylinder, for example, yeah, and the third dimension point there, 
So I have this kind of cylinder, but it's not yet the cup, it's the cylinder. Now, one fourth of it, so the other base of it is gonna be somewhere there, yeah? And much more rounder. So now if I connect those, you see, if I connect those, you see, I have much more stronger the cup, yeah? In perspective, looking from the top, okay? So this is much more nicer. This is very nice, but this is not as nice. This kind of clear vanishing point and uh, the one view looks always better when you have rather prism, prismatic forms. Okay, well, if you have cylinder, cylindric forms, it's not a big deal because you're gonna have, for example, cylinder here, yeah, like this, for example, like this, and the other gonna be much more rounded. So you have nice, the cylinders and a kind of looking not bad, like the beer, beer cans or something, yeah? Okay, from the top, they look also nice because you have some kind of view like this. And after, of course, you go lower the cylinder. So you're gonna have full circle almost there. So you have another nice view of the cylinder. But if you do the coffee cup, when you have to add the angle, so the angle will be much more pronounced. It's much more rounded and it's gonna be like this way. But the opposite direction, the cup gonna be what? Having approximately one fourth is gonna be here the base. If you connect with the top, you see, it's not as nice to cup, yeah? It's, it's less interesting in, stay in, 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 in talking about the dynamic of the shape. Anyway, um, this kind of exercises, I would suggest you practice. Uh, always, uh, always start with the prism, uh, circumscribe in the prism, the cylinder, and from the cylinder after, you, you add the smaller, uh, it's depending what kind of angle you have. You have to verify on your cup and the best is to draw the cup from the profile. Yeah, first, so you know approximately this space relates how to the rest. One, two, three, and another four is this. So you know that one four is for the lower uh, circle and the other has four of these parts, yeah? So anyway, this kind of exercise is very interesting to actually practice. So that's all for today. I wish you good practice with this form. So we finish with this form. We're going to have another forms and uh, for the next videos, but uh, it depends. This was very, this is with a very difficult form and it needs a lot of attention in order to construct it right. That's why, you know, kind of, I got a little bit brief here. I hope you understand. If you have any problems, uh, let me know. But uh, I think it should be, we just review these videos uh, and follow kind of slowly everything. We should get uh, very good vision, uh, action results from this. So um, that will be all for today. And just smile and practice and I see you next time. Bye-bye now.